Welcome to the Jab Jab Show. Um, this is this this the idea of this little segment you're watching here right now live is just uh, an introduction to uh, a film review, uh, one of the early film reviews. Um, at the time, I didn't have any kind of intro and outro ideas and so on. So this is just going to be kind of bunged at the start of it and, and we'll see what happens. So uh, bear with me. Um, and we'll we'll, um, we'll we'll get there. I mean, I'm aware the sound quality and the you know the visuals might be a bit rubbish compared to now. Obviously, you can tell I've got thousands of people behind the camera now watching because it's a, such a big production, 15 trillion quid worth of production. Anyhow, without further ado and all that, so this is my review for a thing. Hello and welcome to a review, my review of The Nice Guys. The nice Guys, directed by Shane Black and the main stars in it are uh, Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling, King Basinger is also in it. Um, and basically the story is uh, two mismatched detectives uh, joined forces to see if they can um, solve this crime, this riddle about this dead porn star and there's a few things in between as well. Um, so a lot of synergies and I liked it a lot. It's very funny in parts. Um I mean I like a lot of Shane Black stuff. I've I've what you know, watched you know, watched all this all his directions, Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang and you know, also Iron Man with three is his uh, biggest one. Um uh, you know, commercially. Um but also the things he's written um down the years, Lethal Weapon, I'm not gonna I'm on it's quite it was a fair few like, Lethal Weapon, Last Boy Scout, and so forth. You know all these films. You know, um, and this film does lend itself. You know, it's very Shane Black ish esque um, in terms of like the dialogue is is very sharp. There's very funny sequences in it, very funny scenes. Um, the, the, the kind of the setups and the payoffs of the dialogue, and uh, just the interaction between the two main characters. If you know, like I say if you look at these. That stuff he's done, barring Iron Man three, uh, even though in Iron Man three you could say there's elements of the buddy, the t the, t the two guys trying to do stuff together with Rhodey and Iron Man, but you know certainly with these other stuff he's written and directed, it's um, you know you, you can see lots of similarities, lots of parallels with that in terms of like how they, you know, say interact and so on. So I dug that I. I say I liked it. I knew going into the film, watching the trailer. Yeah, it looks like one of them kind of films where it's all kind of snappy dialogue, um, very you know all that. You know, it it didn't disappoint me. So what I also liked, uh, which I didn't expect, was a Ryan Gosling character has a daughter and she plays plays quite a big biggish role in it. I didn't expect that. You know, she she actually helps. Along the way, she she's not just some some moody teenager or something. She she, she actually she's quite switched on. Um, it's it didn't dwell too much on the relationship, like you know, uh, of uh, Russell Crowe's character in terms of you know there's a hint of what's happening in his past. Now maybe that was deliberate, like they didn't dwell on Russell Crowe's backstory as much. I would have liked to have known a bit more than just telling me hints of what may may or may not have happened in the past with, with his character. Just to flesh him out a little bit bit more. I mean, I like Russell Crowe in the film, don't get me wrong. I like Ryan. Everyone, it's not, there's no bad acting in there. I don't see there's a bad acting. There's a, there's maybe once or twice when you know, he was a little overacting perhaps, but that might just be his character. So, you know, 
and his character is a bit more kind of a loose cannon. He also calls more straight lace, but you know, I'm not going to spoil it for you. This is a non spoiler, I should have said this at the start, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. Uh, this is just my take on it. Um, basically, yeah. Um, um, and let's say there's lots of similarities to his early work, Shane Black's work. I've got no problem with the, with the kind of possible criticism some people might have about this being kind of too similar in a lot of ways to his earlier stuff. I mean, it's more of you either with or against Shane Black, but he's not a div he's not a divisive character. You have a, you know, if you love it like you know I do, I love all this stuff he's done. Or you carry on if you. This isn't gonna convert you, if you if you for whatever reason I don't know how you wouldn't how you wouldn't like his stuff because it's very it's very good you know, um, so so yeah um, further down the line he's attached to the new Predator film which is just kind of like it was in the original Predator, uh, it's actually I think he's slated on um, scheduled to direct it, um, not sure too much about story details but it would be nice probably won't happen but it would be nice for Dutch to come back and the original Predator to come back I know they're gonna have to wreck kind of you know like do a few things <laughs> and then have a buddy comedy but that be, might be too too weird I don't know but either way I like uh, nice guys let's keep on track here so that's my opinion on the nice guys what's yours um yeah send send me comments down send your comments down below uh, let me know and just like subscribe and tell your friends and everything. Um, it's like the new Cyrus says, send the word.